Anyone who sincerely believes in God is a threat, and that is the measure of a free country in the end. Are you allowed to believe that there's an authority higher than the people in charge of your government? That has always been the hallmark of America, religious liberty. It's in the First Amendment. But in Canada, of course, that's all disappeared. Canada has now become an atheist totalitarian state with amazing speed. And in Canada, it's now a crime to object to sexualized drag shows for children. You're not allowed to say a word. Late last month, month a pastor in Calgary was violently throw, thrown out of an all-ages, in other words, for children, drag queen story hour for daring to object to the sexualization of children. Watch this. We are now calling the police. Stop. 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 The police coming, so it is your choice to leave or deal with the police. So that's the video. That's what happened. Who committed the violence in that video? The guy on the ground was the pastor. Before we answer the question, some context will remind you that in Canada, showing any disloyalty at all to the Trudeau government could get your bank account frozen and your truck seized. So maybe you're not surprised to learn that that man on the ground, whose name is Pastor Derek Reamer, who showed profound disrespect for Justin Trudeau's ongoing efforts to sexualize children and mutilate the genitals of children, woke up yesterday to the police banging on his door and telling him he was going to be arrested. Why are you showing up in my home? Because this is where you live, right? Yeah, you guys you could call me and we could... Sorry, what's that? You could have called me. I've been trying to. When? This morning. We need to talk about what happened on the weekend at Seton, right? Why do we need to talk about it? Because you're going to be arrested for it and charged. Okay. So we can, we can go deal with it this morning, or I can just put warrants out for you. Charged with what? Mischief and causing a disturbance. Where are all the professional Christians? You have to wonder that again. Where's David French and Beth Moore and Tim Keller and all these people who are defending Christianity as actual Christians are being arrested for being Christians? Hmm. Not a word. Well, today, Pastor Derek Reamer confirmed that a warrant was out for his arrest for hate crimes, and he was right about that. He was not overstating it because this afternoon he was literally arrested. Watch. Can I put on the arrest for oh, warrant? I'm going to say Is there a reason you're blocking me from using the sidewalk? Obstruction, they're working here. I'm not going to obstruct them. Don't worry, I'm not going to run. <laughs> I'm not worry about you. We're just going to stay out of their workspace. Do you mind if I ask you what he's being arrested for? Are you going to provide your identification? Pardon? Will you provide your ID? It's for you to answer the question? Yeah. Okay. Uh, why is he being arrested? He has warrants. Warrants out for his arrest? Yeah. This is what happens when we go against the Drake. Wow! That doesn't look like the Canada you thought you knew. All Molson and sled dogs or some stormtrooper in sunglasses won't answer a question before you provide your ID. And then the pastor sitting in a car with bars on the windows getting hauled away to jail for being thrown to the ground at Drag Queen Story Hour.